Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Esther Lee from her collection Spit, published by Elixir Press in 2011. Uh, the poem I'm going to read is entitled, The Real World is Like This. The real world is like this. My sister's bed is a bird's nest, all edges, construction paper. She keeps adding what she coaxes father to give up before the police arrive, food stamps, silver parts of a handgun. If she doesn't stop, her nest bed will soon be too wide to fit through any dorm frame, let alone down the hallway. Our mother turned hummingbird, predictable as it is, her blurred form and curled feet hidden in the closet. Along the way, my sister and I misplace our mother's bird throat and mistake her silence for fatigue. To make noise, I wear tap shoes to school, click-click over ice and tile, and with each click, my sister grows away from me. I stare down at my silver shoes toward what my mouth can't afford. My sister, on the other hand, looks up. At the stretched net overhead, she figures an escape. Through that empty patch, she tells me, pointing at the tiniest square, <coughs> tiniest square of sky. Um, <coughs> that was Esther Lee from Spit, uh, Elixir Press. The poem was, The Real World is Like This. Uh, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about Esther Lee, as well as a link to where you can purchase this book, um, and a list of other projects and series I'm currently working on. If you'd like to support this channel, you can just hit subscribe, like button, or comment below and share your own insights and thoughts, um, your own <coughs> recommendations of, of poets and poems you'd like to see featured. Um, and I think that's about it for us. Uh, as always, feel free to share these as links on social media. Anything you do that expands the uh, visibility of these poems and these poets is wonderful. I think that's a uh, part of what we can do as a community is to celebrate and lift up the voices and the work of others um, and remind ourselves and others of all that's going on right now in the world, um, that the experiences, the uh, both the beautiful and the tragic, the traumatic and the the uh, transformational are all present here in literature and give us an opportunity and a space to encounter each other, to listen to each other, and perhaps even to come to know each other in a deeper way than we might otherwise have available. So I'm grateful for art and literature that is able to do that and thankful for the opportunity to do these videos on this platform and to continue to share poetry um, as it makes a difference in my life and hopefully makes a difference in yours. Uh, thank you again. We'll see you again soon. I'm uh, back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Try to get these videos out earlier in the day, but sometimes, like today, it's a little bit later. Um, I'm thankful for the time you take to watch these videos and to listen to these poems. And uh, I'm thankful for the wonderful poets that write these poems and engage our imagination in this way. So here's to them, here's to us in our own creative journeys, and here's to all of you um, and <laughs> wherever we are in the world. Grateful to be united by the power of language and the imagination of poetry. So we'll see you again soon. Thank you, and uh, see you in a couple days. Bye.